what's up guys and welcome to the video if you saw the title of the video then you know that this is an amazon haul my amazon must-haves my recent purchases just the things that i've gotten from amazon recently that i think that you guys should check out things that are just very helpful and help make my life more productive so I do have my things all laid out in front of me, but I'm gonna kind of go through everything in little sections. So um, let's just get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is show you a couple of little kitchen things that I got. And I say kitchen things very loosely because this is really just stuff that I got to make coffee at home. <laughs> the first thing in this kitchen slash coffee supplies category is gonna be the milk carton. So I have seen this all over TikTok and Instagram. This is something that I am using for my cream. And I'm also using this to froth up my cream. It's just this little guy right here and I pour my creamer inside and then I actually take a milk frother and I froth it up. Sometimes I'll also put like flavored syrups inside of here with the cream if it's just plain cream and I'll do like a flavored like cold foam kind of thing. So in order to do that I need my milk frother. So I got this one. I got this one from Amazon as well. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Um, I think that I got this one because it was the cheapest one. So the last thing in the kitchen slash coffee category is going to be my beer can mugs that came with glass straws. So this actually came in a set of four for beer mug glasses and then four straws they're very sturdy somebody asked me on instagram like are they strong i've clinked them a couple times and i have all four still none of them have broke yet knock on wood these are really nice for an iced coffee you know you just put your ice your coffee and then you can put your little cream on top as you frothed up with your milk carton and your milk frother just be careful when you're drinking out of it because sometimes when you're drinking with a glass straw your brain does not comprehend that you're about to bring something kind of hard close to your mouth. I've knocked my teeth a couple times. So just be mindful when you're about to take a sip. Don't let the glass straw hit you in the teeth. But yeah, those are the little coffee gadgets and things that I've gotten to make my morning coffee experience a little bit nicer. It really is enjoyable. So speaking of kitchen things, uh, this is actually kind of, this isn't a kitchen thing. This is just something that I got that I feel like has improved my life. Um, so I actually got a straw lid for my hydro flask. So my hydro flask came with just a wide mouth lid. So you would have to actually take that off and drink like this from it. But you know, the girls love a straw. So basically, the straw lid comes with two straws. You measure it to the size of your hydro flask. And then it just goes in and then you can actually just sit with your thing. You know, it makes it super cute and I didn't get my hydro flask off of Amazon. It was gifted to me, but this is the greatest water bottle. Like if you have a bunch of water bottles, this is one that you need to have like in your water bottle roster because it's freaking awesome. Honorable mention, didn't get it off Amazon. I did get my straw lid off of Amazon, but if you don't have a hydro flask, definitely get you one. So next I'm gonna go to the sort of beauty and travel essentials that I just picked up. I've gotten tons of things off of Amazon. These are just some things that I picked up recently that I am using when it comes to travel or uh, just beauty stuff in general. The first thing that I got is this vitamin box. So it says that it is a mini candy box but there's a button on the bottom, so if you press it, it just opens up and you can store your vitamins in it. 
So this is really good if you're traveling and you don't want to carry your whole vitamin supply with you and you just need it for a couple of days. You can just kind of put everything either each in one or you can do your days out in each compartment. It's really cute. It comes in a bunch of colors. I chose this little two-tone green. In the same category of travel, I did pick up these mini perfume bottles. So then if you actually pull this out, this comes out of the top. So it twists down so that sprayer is, I'll spray it. And then if you pull it out, that is the actual way that you get the perfume in there. So you can pull this, twist this off. So it comes with a bunch of little tools that you attach to your main perfume bottle and that's how you get your scents inside. I got the black. It comes in a bunch of different colors, I think. I don't know, a bunch of different colors. It comes in a couple of different colors. Getting all the same color is not very helpful when you're trying to remember what's inside. So, uh, just you gotta spray it and see what's inside and remember if that's what you want to wear for that day. But um, these are really great to put in your purse just to have a little extra scent. If you don't have a travel size or if you run out of those little samples, this is a little bit bigger and you can carry your scents that you have with you. Um, so, so the next and last thing in this category is actually going to be my makeup brush cleaner. I just wanted something that I could use to clean my brushes that made it a little bit easier because I would clean my brushes in the literally in the palm of my hand. So this is what they call a brush cleansing pad and it has a, some different little textures on it and it also has a suction at the bottom so you can stick it onto a surface and then you can just scrub 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 and this is silicone as well so it's not gonna hold that much bacteria which is really important when you are cleaning your makeup brushes you don't want any of that stuff to stay on there just pop it on your sink you could even put it inside your sink actually so you can just keep all that stuff in the sink when you're cleaning it out not have to worry about the mess getting anywhere and then you just rinse it off um, and you can put it in like a plastic bag or you can leave it slap it somewhere you gotta you gotta suction so just there is more beauty stuff that I have gotten from Amazon, but I really feel like there's so much that that's a whole nother video. Oh, I forgot about my headband. <laughs> so I did get this uh, headband from Amazon as well, and this is something, I wear it like, cause I think it's cute, um, but it is for washing your face just so you can keep your hair out of your face. And then this little bow actually comes off. So if you don't like the bow, you can just have it like that and then very easy you just kind of slip it back in this came in a two pack a black one and a pink one I gave the pink one to my cousin because I was feeling more of the black vibe but yeah that is another thing that I got that's kind of related to beauty self-care and whatnot now I will actually go into the tech area of what I've gotten from Amazon recently. I have a lot of tech stuff that I've gotten from Amazon that I feel like has really made my life super easy. So I will start with my iPad case. So I got this iPad case, it's a little, what is that? That's wax, that's candle wax. So this is a iPad case that includes a keyboard. Basically, and it also has a slot for an Apple Pencil, we'll get there in a little bit. But basically you have the keyboard and you slide the keyboard up and then you can actually just prop up your iPad like that and then it connects and you have yourself a little typing surface, which is really great. Or you can just take the keyboard off and just use your iPad like so, like I said, it does come with a slot for an Apple Pencil, and um, Amazon has some alternative Apple products. 
So me being the curious individual that I am, I decided to look into a Apple Pencil that they offered. So this is a stylus for an iPad. So I actually do use this compartment right here. Pop that in there on the side. And then there's a little thing on the back where you just pop it out. But this little guy right here is very, very, like there I don't think that there's any reason to go and spend a bunch of money on an Apple pencil when you can get this for literally like half the price and it does the job like I've had this for a year now I think and it's like I barely have to charge it it has not given out on me yet I use it with good notes on my iPad and it works very very well so this whole setup the ipad case with the keyboard and the pen as well it will literally change your life and change the way that you do digital planning in general so the next thing that i have is going to be the hula plus mount this is a really great mount if you want to do shower videos i actually have two of these so i have another one in my car that i use as a phone mount for driving and you can use this on your mirror for skincare videos so you take one side and you just kind of stick it to a smooth surface and then it has a latch on it where you just push that down and it's gonna suction the heck out of whatever surface you put on and then you just put your phone on the other side so you just put your phone clamp the suction down and it is a very very strong hold i wouldn't suggest doing this if you don't have a case on your phone because the suction kind of it's a lot <laughs> so it's very very strong and then if it does lose its suction you just kind of wipe this the little sticky part off with uh some water they give you a little carrying case for it super cute that also doubles as a phone cleaning and then another thing that is very important is going to be this uh, phone clip for your tripods so a lot of the times when you get ring lights and stuff like that they have this screw on the bottom and they don't always come with a clip for your phone so if you're wanting to do a little bit more of phone content if you're not using like a camera on that just kind of has the um, the screw on the bottom then uh, this is very good because you can either put it in on the bottom so your phone stays vertical Let me see if I can show you guys. yeah you can either put it in on the bottom so your phone stays vertical or you can also clip it in on the side and kind of get your uh, horizontal kind of YouTube format video so if you're using a phone instead of a camera and you want to hook it up to your tripod and it does not come with a clip or anything like that these are really good um, I like to have multiple of these on hand uh, just to travel with if I want to take like pictures if I go out if I don't have anybody to take my picture just a little tripod slap this on top you're taking pictures problem so this is a really good thing that I like to have as well next you guys may think that this is a little bit weird that I will show you this but I promise that it makes sense so this is a power strip so now you're probably wondering why I'm showing you a simple power strip like you can get this from any store any place this one I like a lot because it does have eight outlets on each side so you can actually put this on the wall and it has outlets on each side so no shortage of outlets it comes with those three usbs as well as the usb c so this is going to be really good for newer macbooks if i wanted to charge up that uh, stylus for my ipad i could do that as well and uh just being able to plug in the usbs and you not needing that block is very helpful that way you can put you know your things I use this in my bedroom so I actually put like my TV my Xbox I have a Roku also so I put that in there anything else that I want to charge whether it be my camera my stylus my computer I can plug it into the either USBs or I don't have any shortage of regular outlets so and it's really cute it's different than like the regular like whack power strip so I like this so I thought I would show you guys this one as well 
One thing that I will say has been a game changer for me as far as content goes is definitely my hard drive. So I was operating off of a like huge brick of a hard drive that would mess up. I actually had to send it for data recovery one time already. It's not a solid state, so it was like a real nightmare for me. So I upgraded to uh, the Samsung T7, and this is a portable solid state drive. The hard drive itself is super, super tiny. It's in the palm of your hand, literally. And this is a solid state, and this is one terabyte. So this is going to be good for travel, on the go. It operates off of a USB-C, and it's just very, it's super thin. It's like a credit card, almost. This has been a game changer for me, just because it's super, just lightweight don't feel the stress of that gigantic hard drive that's gonna not work or just be weird this changed the game it's actually pretty close to being full <laughs> so I am gonna have to get a new one soon but this is super worth it like I would say if you are doing content and you have a bunch of video like don't even waste your money on don't don't even cheap out on you know another hard drive that's not a solid state just so you can save like 20 or 30 dollars like it's way more worth it to just get this little this little guy right here it's amazing super amazing i might get a two terabyte one next time for my next one but it is awesome like i love this little thing okay so also in the tech category everybody needs to have a card reader i'm sure if you do content then you have one of these this has a micro sd is it a micro SD? This has a tiny one and a big one. So this is very important just to have. So that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will have everything that I mentioned linked down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, leave a comment, and do not forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.